Bienvenidos, Husham Deed, and welcome to another supplemental video tutorial and solution set on Lab 2.1.6.10 from the Cisco Networking Academy Introduction to Python course. In this tutorial and solution set, we're going to be taking a look at some operators and expressions in a mathematical sense and taking that mathematical equation and converting it into Python syntax. We're then going to provide some input and validate whether or not the output matches. Now, in lab 2.1.6.10, you'll notice that things are going to escalate rather quickly. The level of difficulty here is intermediate, and the estimated time time to completion is right around 20 minutes. So let's take a look at the mathematical equation that we're working with. And that is it right there. As you can see, this escalated rather quickly from addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. We're now working with 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x. So there's quite a bit going on here. We're going to have parentheses involved, obviously, so that we can group things together. And again, my recommendation is always to start with small chunks of code and then build out from there to take an inductive approach. So let's take a look on the right hand side here and we can see that we have our first statement at the top where we've created a variable name x and we are going to use the assignment operator, the single equal sign, to assign the result of what we have here, which is the input statement prompting the user for a value. And we're going to enter that value in and we have functional composition here where a function is inside of a function. In other words, the input function is inside the float function. And the result of this will be typecasting because remember with the input function, the default data type that is returned is a string, but that's not going to help us in a mathematical equation like the one we have over here to our left. So we're going to typecast that. In other words, change it from a string to a float. So they've already provided us with the initial statement that's going to be required and the print function here. Our code is going to go right here. And if we take a look at the instructions, you'll see that our code should be captured or assigned to the variable y. And so we know this right away is going to be y equal. And in other words, we're assigning whatever the value is from the equation on the right to the variable on the left, or the variable on the left is pointing to that value somewhere in memory. So now let's break this down into smaller, more manageable chunks, because typically when learners try to tackle this lab challenge, what ends up happening is it becomes extremely confusing trying to line things up. So let's see if we can't make it a little easier to understand. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say one over x plus one. And that's all we're going to start with. So let's go ahead and say one so we've got y equal one. And when I say over, I mean divided by, and we're doing, we're not doing floor division. We're going to go ahead and do floating point division here with a single forward slash. And then I'm going to say x plus one, right? Now, one over x plus one is a mathematical equation. And so if I was to put three in here, we would have, or I'd enter three for X, we would have three plus one, because remember, when we're talking about order of operations for mathematical equations, it's PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. So the first P stands for parentheses. So we do what's inside the parentheses first. If I entered three, we would get four. So then I'd have one over four, and we know that that's a quarter or 0.25. So we've start with something small here to see how it's going to return the output to us and whether or not it's actually functional. So let's give this a try. I'm going to click the forward arrow there, enter a value. I'm going to say three and hit enter. And there we go. Y equals 0 0.25 or one quarter. Okay. Well, if that's the syntax right here, for one over x plus one, I can then easily extrapolate this out. So the actual equation is one 
over, and I say over because of the way they've got it drawn here. When I say over, it's synonymous with divided by. So one over X plus one, we've already got that, right? So now all I need is over X plus one again. Do you see that? And then over, and let's make sure I've got my parentheses here. I'm always trying to count my parentheses to make sure right. Over X plus one, X plus one again. So one, two, three. And so we're short one on the outside here. Cause you can see we have, we have three open parents, one, two, three. And so then I have three close parents. So it's one over X plus one over X plus one over X plus one. Let me check that again. One over X plus one over X plus one. So one over X plus one over X plus one over, and then it should be X plus one over X. So I think I had one too many in there. One over X plus X. And so that should be it. Let me check this again. So one over X plus one over X plus one over X plus one X. And again, when we look in here, right, in, in this uh, set of parentheses here, we have addition and division. Well, remember, D for division comes before A for addition. So that, this is going to get done first. And so that should be our equation right there. Now, let's scroll down a little bit further. And again, you can see that attacking this by breaking it down into a small chunk first and then growing that, it makes it a little easier to deal with. So simple input, let's put in one. So we should get prompted here, value for X, we'll put in one and there we go. We get point six, a bunch of zeros and then a one. And so then let's run this again and we'll put in 10. And does that value match up 7294 at the end? It does. And let's run it again and we'll put 100 in here. And does that match up? It does. And I'm just kind of looking at the last four digits when, I, when I'm looking at that to make sure it matches up. And then let's run this one more time. And X is negative five. And so we should get 192560344. All right. So fantastic. Well, the equation did exactly what we expected it to do based on the sample input that we were going to provide. And again, it's all about looking at the problem and then just breaking it down into smaller, little, more manageable chunks. All right, well, this is probably the most difficult lab to this point in the course. So definitely a good one to make sure that you take a look at and that you understand. All right, well, that is going to do it for lab 2.1.6.10, where we took a look at a lot of operators and a lot of mathematical expressions. And boy, the parentheses were flying around everywhere. All right, stay happy, stay healthy, and I hope to see you in the next video soon.